Hey everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Sam and today I wanted to share with you some things I no longer buy or use in order to save money, reduce waste, and progress towards a more minimal lifestyle. By the way, this video is not meant to shame anyone. We're all different in our lifestyle, so what works for me might not work for you. I'm just sharing my personal experience, so please take everything I say with a grain of salt. The important question we should all ask though is that do the things we buy provide us with value? If not, then can we minimize or limit our spending on such items? First thing on the list is paper towels. I recently stopped buying paper towels. Instead, I have reusable napkins slash handkerchiefs and hand towels. These are fairly inexpensive and comes in a pack of 12. And for the towels, you can get them almost anywhere at your nearest supermarket. I have a few laying around my apartment, each serving as different purposes two in my bathroom to dry my hands with, one to clean my desk, and one in the kitchen for emergency spills. When it gets dirty, I'll toss them into the laundry basket to be washed. These napkins are great for blowing your nose or wiping your mouth during a meal. Also, if you have clothes that are no longer wearable, they're a great alternative to use as a rag to wipe down countertops or anything you would use a paper towel for. They might not be as aesthetically pleasing to the eye, but it gets the job done. Number two, single serve drinks. I stopped buying drinks served in plastic bottles or aluminum cans for quite some time now. You've seen in the news everywhere about how these plastic bottles are polluting the marine ecosystem. So not only this is environmentally friendly, I save a ton of money. Instead, I bring this insulated water bottle with me anywhere I go. I recommend getting one with the handle. Studies have shown you're much likely to carry your water bottle around if it has a handle. Just kidding, I actually don't know if that's true, but it makes sense though, right? I would also recommend investing in a water filter system like this breeder one if you aren't a fan of drinking regular tap water. These filters last quite a while until you need to replace them. Number three, brand new phones. Every phone I've ever owned was bought, used, or from other people. This saves me a lot of money, especially when there's a newer model out almost every year. On top of the prices for older models going down as new versions appear in the market, if you buy it used, the phone then becomes a fraction of what it originally costs. I just don't find the value in upgrading to a new phone when the difference in technology is very minor. I'd much rather spend the extra money I saved into things that will provide me with great, great value, like paying off student loans or any debt I might have. Right now, I have a used Google Pixel 3 XL. I'm satisfied with the functionality that it provides, so I probably won't be upgrading anytime soon. Number 4. Gifts and Souvenirs You could say I'm selfish when it comes to buying gifts for others. Just kidding, I'm not really selfish. Or am I? Honestly, I can't remember the last time I bought physical gifts for my friends or family. One, because I really don't have much friends, and two, my family's traditions rarely involve gifts. But if I were to buy something for my friends or family, it would either be gift cards or food. And for souvenirs, I haven't bought any recently since traveling is on a pause right now, and that's the only time I would make such purchases. But when I was traveling frequently, I did buy small keychains to remind me of places I had visited, like this elephant I got from my last visit to Burma. Number five, plastic grocery bags. Instead, I bring my own reusable tote. I think my mom gave this to me a few years back. They're very durable and can hold a decent amount of weight. But I'm no perfect human being, no one is, so sometimes when I forget my shopping tote, I'll use a few plastic bags they have at the store. When I get home, instead of throwing them into the trash, I store them in this cabinet so I can recycle them at the end of each year. Number 6. Disposable Razor Blades Since I barely have any facial hair, I just have an electric shaver. It's portable and rechargeable. I've had this one for over three years now and it gets the job done every time. In addition, I don't have to spend money on shaving cream and extra blades. I recommend investing in an electric shaver if you do shave often like me. It'll save you some money and future trips to the store. Number seven, hard copy of books. I've converted to reading everything on my iPad, which has the Kindle app. Having all the books in one platform like a Kindle saves the hassle of lugging multiple books around when you're traveling or even moving to a new place. Once I buy a book, I'll have access to it forever as they're stored electronically. I also have the ability to access the books right away as they come out without having to leave my house or wait for a delivery. The Kindle app has many neat features like highlighting texts you want to refer back to bookmark a page, 
change font, font size, and even adding a reading ruler. But if you don't own an iPad or have a Kindle, a great alternative is renting from your local public library as they're free of charge. Number eight, paper journals. Maybe I'm biased on this one since I can't remember the last time I'd handwritten on a physical journal. Some people love the feel of writing stuff with the pen and paper, but I prefer typing stuff out. I can type way faster than handwrite my thoughts and ideas. As you can see, my handwriting is not the best, which is probably why I prefer typing. I use the app Notion to write all my tasks and ideas. Since the app automatically syncs the data between different platforms, I can easily pick up where I left off from my computer to any other devices or vice versa. Number nine, new shoes. I currently have four pairs, two for casual wear, one for working out, and one for semi-formal events. Shoes to me are like cars. The moment you start using them, they significantly drop in value. Plus, it's hard finding shoes that I like that comes in a wider fit options, which is why I only have a select few. These four have been with me for well over five years now, and I don't plan on adding another pair until one of them starts to break. Last but not least, excessive kitchen utensils. I have a protein shaker bottle, one coffee cup, a measuring cup, one bowl for my oatmeal, one larger bowl, and a plate. For silverware, I have two spoons and a fork. I have a food scale, a cutting board, a spatula, and a knife. I hardly ever have any guests over, and by having just a few for myself, it forces me to do the dishes right away, instead of holding it off until I'm out of plates or silverware. So those are the 10 things I no longer buy or use. I hope this gave you some insights on my current lifestyle and how these things no longer provide me with value. I'm curious though, what are some things you don't buy or use? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. And if you're new here, consider subscribing for more future content. I will see you all in the next video. Take care everyone.